This video demonstrates the new self-service ad hoc reporting capability of Tivoli Common Reporting for the ITM VMware agent. From my uh, TCR Cognos connection, I will launch the Query Studio, which is the ad hoc reporting tool. When I launch the Query Studio on the left hand side, you will see the data model for the VMware agent. Uh, this data model is has been created on top of the TDW data, historical data that's been collected for the VMware agent in the data warehouse has been extracted, massaged, that is relationships have been defined and uh, it has been named and organized in a way that it makes it more consumable by the end user. As you can see, if I expand the different uh, levels of this data model, uh, there are the, the VMware attribute groups these are uh, the same as the attribute groups that are that have been described in the documentation um, and along with that there are some dimensions by which you can slice and dice your data and group them in different ways for example the time dimension and uh, other VMware specific dimensions like data centers clustered servers uh, VMs, resource pools, etc. So let's say I want to build a quick report to compare the CPU utilization for my clusters in my environment. So I will browse and drag the cluster name into the report. And after I drag the cluster name, I will go ahead and look at maybe some hourly data. So I will browse to the clusters attribute group and look for the average CPU utilization field and drag it and drop it on the report. In addition to this, I will also drag in some time elements. So I will get the timestamp. And then I will select the timestamp field and pivot on it. This will create a pivot table or a cross tab, which lets me see the data in a much more uh, user friendly way and aggregates it correctly. In addition to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the data, sort the date time as in ascending. And I will also create a chart which will help me to compare my different clusters in a line chart. So now I have the clusters, the timestamps, and the CPU utilization over time uh, all overlaid in one line chart. And you can hover, hover over each data point to see which cluster um, is consuming more CPU at what time and I could build this report by a few clicks and drag and drag and drop actions in a couple of minutes now this report can be saved and once saved it will you can choose a location where you want to save it and once saved you can perform all the administrative uh, functions like uh, emailing scheduling or uh, editing etc on the report I will Go to the next scenario. Uh, in the next scenario, I will uh, demonstrate uh, data store utilization. So let's say this is a new uh, area which has received a lot of focus in this release. So I will look at some data store utilization uh, data. So I'll drag in the data store name. And I will go ahead and drag in the data store utilization, um, maybe the total IO and the virtual machine name. And I'll also drag in the time elements, like the timestamp. So I can pivot on the time. And the other thing I will do is also filter out these values to show um, a particular range. So you could select from you know 0 to 50 or 50 to 100. I'm just going to select anything that has a positive value. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to pivot on the timestamp and then plot a chart to compare my VMs by data store utilization. So now I can see all my VMs and my data stores and 
their uh, total I.O. in kilobytes per second.